I asked my wife to bring me a jar of horseradish. She brought it over. I couldn't smell it, so I knew I had a problem. Harry Laughlin's battle with COVID-19 started like a cold and got worse with each passing day. 32 years of smoking left the 70-year-old with chronic bronchitis. Laughlin says he's overweight and has high blood pressure. That's why after his COVID diagnosis in late January, he signed up for the COVID monoclonal antibody therapy treatment. Laughlin qualified, and not a moment too soon. The day of my infusion of the COVID antibody, I had to get a wheelchair to get from the parking lot to the clinic. It was like 100, 200 yards. I couldn't walk it. The antibodies emulate the body's natural ability to fight invading organisms. In the case of COVID, they bind to the spike protein of the coronavirus, preventing it from binding to a human cell and reducing the severity of an infection. Laughlin says by mid-February, he was able to use a snowblower, and in March, he was healthy enough to walk the golf course. I strongly believe that without that COVID antibody treatment, I may have had more serious complications, I may have been hospitalized. Laughlin wants people to know if they are high risk and contract COVID-19, they should call their doctor right away. Contact their primary care physician and have them contact the University of Michigan Health System, Michigan Medicine, Infectious Diseases. Um, Dr. Lindsay Petty saved me. You know, again, she was the reason I got the treatment. Earlier this week, Governor Gretchen Whitmer announced the expansion of monoclonal antibody therapy to fight COVID-19. Laughlin is glad to see this treatment getting the attention it deserves. Without that treatment, I'm not sure where I'd be right now. James Felton, WNEM TV5.